The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant, who has just come in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat. Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you have done all you have been commanded, say, we are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. The Gospel of the Lord. We're not even at Thanksgiving yet, and yet the newspapers and the televisions already fill with commercials for Christmas. And of course, it looks at that kind of materialistic aspect of what Christmas is all about. And among those that I've seen a couple times on television now is a series of little vignettes for Toys R Us. And in each instance, it's sort of a little story going on between the parent and the child. And in the case of the one, the father's calling in from the kitchen, which plays somebody take the garbage out. And the two girls are sitting in front of the television set watching. And as soon as he says that, they both jump up and they argue over who's going to do it. It's my turn. It's my turn to do it. And of course, the father stands there smiling, trying to figure out what's going on. And then they show the, the book of Toys R Us with particular gifts there that these girls are hoping they'll get as a result of doing what they just did. And there's another one where the girl's sitting on the couch texting on her phone. And, Father comes in and sits down next to her, and uh, he says, what are you doing? And she says, oh, nothing. I was just waiting for you. I thought we just might talk a little bit. And he, or he looks at her again and is totally amazed at this reaction. And of course, then they show the catalog again. Well, that's precisely the sort of thing that sometimes we tend to do, either consciously or unconsciously with God. We, we make bargain deals with him. We say, you know, if, if you take care of this, or this happens for me, or this happens for someone else, I promise I will do this other thing. And, Sometimes we carry through on the promise, but more, more often than not, we forget once we've achieved what we want. And so Jesus kind of picks up on that theme today in this little segment from Luke's account, where he talks about how if you have a servant, the assumption is the servant carries out the obligations they're supposed to do. That's that they're, they're just to do it. It's not a point of being rewarded for the fact of doing it, but they're just carrying out the job that they have. And so the disciples and turn each of us are called to be those witnesses to charity, those witnesses of relationship with God, not because of what we'll get out of it, but because of the fact that's precisely what we should be, given the fact that we're part of the kingdom. And of course, the great gift is ultimately is that unlike the toys are us, God in his mercy and in his love indeed does reward us, even though we don't necessarily always deserve it. <laughs>